celebration. It's great to have all of you here to witness the union of Kelsey and Cody as wife and husband before God. Together we share in all the joys of their wedding, both with, both with celebration of this occasion and with an appreciation for the love that surrounds us. As the Bible remind, reminds us in Corinthians, love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. Kelsey and Cody, you two have the opportunity, opportunity to build an amazing life together. You're blessed to share this experience with the loved ones gathered here to support you as you embark on this journey. If there's anyone in attendance who has cause to believe that this couple should not be joined in marriage, may you speak now or forever hold your peace. 
Marriage is more than a simple exchange of rings or combining of material assets. Rather, it's shared commitment. While today I will legally bind you together, the truly important bonds we form today are largely invisible to the world. Marriage is one of life's greatest gifts, and it is a blessing to make these promises with your soulmate. As you hold on to one another, you will find deeper levels of joy, happiness, and peace together. Your marriage is the foundation upon which you will build the rest of your lives, and despite any adversity, will always be there to sustain you. Kelsey and Cody, as you stand here today before God, before those gathered here, and before one another, I remind you of the serious nature of the relationship you're about to enter. Marriage is, is the voluntary and full commitment of two consenting adults to love each other for a lifetime. For a marriage to be successful, you must each be loyal to, to the other, stand firm in your defense of each other, and be supportive of one another's life goals and dreams. Learn to work together, to laugh together, and to love together. Don't, go, don't get caught up in worldly things that will draw you apart. As we celebrate this bond of unity today under the eyes of God, it is important that we keep in mind, while this is certainly an occasion of a tremendous joy, the promises we witness here today are serious commitment. As Jesus said, have you not read that he who made them from the beginning made them male and female? He also taught that for this reason, man shall leave his father and mother to be joined with his wife and the two shall become one flesh so that they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Kelsey and Cody, I would now invite you to publicly speak your commitment to your partner. Kelsey, would you like to begin? Me first. <clears throat> okay, Cody first. I'm first. <clears throat> Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> I most certainly will mess this up. <clears throat> Whoo! <clears throat> Whoo, all right, hold on. <clears throat> I always knew that when I found the woman I was going to be with for the rest of my life, I would, mm -hmm, all right, I would instantly know. The day I watched you pass through the threshold and saw you pass me was that moment. The moment everyone talks about in movies and those cheesy sto love stories you always read. <clears throat> I turned to Lucas and said, I'm gonna marry that girl one day. He laughed. I said, no man, I'm serious. <laughs> and then I proceeded to chase you for two years before you said yes, finally. You're my best friend, you're my soulmate, you're the craziest woman in the world for <laughs> putting up with me, but I'm glad you do. I love you more than, <laughs> yes, I love you more than anything in the entire world. Thank you for loving me like you do. I love you. Okay, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I vow to love you, encourage you, respect you, and trust you. I will laugh with you in good times and comfort you in the bad. I will share in your dreams and stand by you as you strive to reach your goals. I promise to try and not always be right, so you can have your moments too. <laughs> and I promise to not bring home any more animals <laughs> unless it's one I just have to have. <laughs> but most importantly, I promise to choose you every single day for the rest of my life. Kelsey and Cody, please join hands. <laughs> Kelsey, do you take Cody to live together in, in the union of marriage, to take him as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, and love him from th this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, for all of your days? I do. Cody, do you take Kelsey <laughs> to live together in the, in the union of marriage, to take her as your best friend and partner in life, to honor, cherish, and love her from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health for all of your days? I do. Kelsey and Cody, while the words you have spoken has sealed your union, it's the combination of these paints that truly symbolize the melding of your two souls you each have a different color of paint. Allow this paint to represent your every thought that's ever crossed your mind. 
and every word that's ever crossed your lips, all of your victories and all of your failures, all of your joys and all of your sorrows. Every drop of paint is another moment, either a moment that has been or a moment that is yet to be. And now use your brushes to paint this vessel of marriage. Best heart ever. <laughs> this is a great idea. <laughs> I think yours looks a lot better than mine. It's all good, baby. It does. Uh, <laughs> it does. <laughs> Could put it up in the living room, man. <laughs> Mix it together. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> Looks great. Beautiful. <laughs> The wedding rings. They perfectly symbolize the never, even lo never ending love you two have for each other. By exchanging these rings, you solidify a, lifetime, a lifelong commitment to one another. The rings serve as a welcome and constant reminder of the bonds you form with your partner. Heavenly Father, bless these rings. Grant that Kelsey and Cody may wear them with deep faith in each other. May they do your will and always live together in peace, love, and abiding joy. We ask this through Christ our Lord, amen. Okay, Kelsey, repeat after me. Oh, oh. oh. Sorry, with me. Okay. I, Kelsey. I, Kelsey. <laughs> give you, Cody, this ring as a symbol of my love. Give you this, say that one more time. Give you this ring as a symbol of my love. Give you this ring as a symbol of my love. And as I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. <laughs> I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I commit the whole of my heart. And soul to you. <laughs> I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. For the rest of my days. I give you all that I am. I give you all that I am. And I accept all that you are. And I accept all that you are. Cody, if you'd repeat after me. I Cody. I Cody. Give you Kelsey this ring as a symbol of my love. Give you Kelsey this ring as a symbol of my love. As I place it on your finger. As I place it on your finger. I commit the whole of my heart and soul to you. I commit the whole of the heart and my soul to you. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. I promise to cherish you for the rest of my days. And I will give you all that I am. And I will give you all that I am. And accept that all that you are. And accept all that you are. Family and friends, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church in the state of Kansas, I am pleased to pronounce Cody and Kelsey as husband and wife. Cody, you may now kiss the bride. Woo! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now have the privilege of presenting for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Cody West.
All right, well, if no one knows who I am, I'm Colton, Cody's brother. I've known him for most of my life. Maybe not quite all of it. Um, ever since I've known Cody, he's always had my back. We've been through everything together. He, uh, he's definitely one of a kind, and he can definitely turn a sad day into a really funny day, any moment. Um, Vice versa. <laughs> but, um, I mean, I think he's going to do a great job in this role. I mean, anything he does in life, he gives 100%. Um, I think he'll be a great husband. And I think he will fulfill everything that she requires. And uh, but also, I remember meeting Kelsey for the first time, and she was a sweetheart. The first time I met her, she definitely has uh, changed Cody for the better, and has uh, turned him into a pretty good man. But I can see this uh, marriage lasting a long time, and uh, I am definitely looking forward to living my life, seeing it grow old together, and everything. So I would like to propose a toast to a long, happy life with lots of babies. <laughs> Okay, um, I'm Sarah, I'm Kelsey's sister, and uh, first of all, I want to say congratulations and welcome to the family, Cody. Um, you look beautiful, your wedding has been beautiful, I think everybody that put time and effort into this did a wonderful job, thank you guys, but um, I remember the day that you came home from the hospital, the very first day, in your big pink poofy dress. <laughs> And you were absolutely beautiful. And today you're even more beautiful in your big poofy white dress. <laughs> I'm so proud of the woman that you've become. You're absolutely amazing in so many ways. You're beautiful inside and out, and I couldn't ask for a better sister. I love you, and I wish you the best of luck with Cody. No, he's kidding. <laughs> Cody, be good to my sister. If not, I will hunt you down, you know that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but I hope that you guys have a wonderful, beautiful, happy, healthy relationship with lots of love and laughter, and I wish you guys the best. And I'm, I'm proud of you, and I love you. I love you too, Cody. Thank you. <laughs> so, I would like to present a toast to Mr. and Mrs. West. Hi, my name's Leanne. <laughs> Kelsey's my daughter. No, I just wanted to say kind of a little bit of what Sarah just said, except for I carried her in my belly for nine months first, so I was already in love with her. And then I had her and I didn't know what to do with her. <laughs> she cried for the first three months of her life, but we just patted her and rocked her and did a lot of that kind of stuff, took her for drives. But she's, she's beautiful. She's like, I don't know, she's beautiful inside and out. I mean, it's not just outside beauty. She's beautiful both, both ways. And she's my baby girl. I have three other children that are here, but she's my baby girl. I still have a baby boy left. But they're all my babies, but this is my baby girl. So it's been kind of a rough few weeks, but we made it through, yes? And the end result is they got married. <laughs> I kept telling her all week, okay, what's, what's, what is it that you want to happen at the end of this day? Get married. Okay, well, it doesn't matter if, it, if everything goes wrong, what's gonna happen at the end of the day? I'm gonna be married. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so I just wanna welcome Cody to our family. We love you. We love you both. You better take care of her, because I do have a gun. 
<laughs> All right. Let's have a toast to Mr. and Mrs. West. <laughs>